ever wondered what the best practice is for wound care? In the vast field of healthcare, wound care is a critical aspect that requires precise attention. It's not just about bandaging a cut or scrape, it's about understanding the type of wound, the optimal approach to healing, and the right tools to use. One such tool that has been making waves in the wound care arena is inodine dressing. This isn't your average bandage. It's a specialized dressing designed to create a conducive environment for wound healing. It's a go-to for healthcare professionals and individuals alike, dealing with wounds that need that extra bit of care. The significance of inodine dressing stretches beyond its application, as it contributes to infection prevention, promotes faster healing, and can significantly improve the quality of life for those dealing with wounds. Understanding how to use inodine dressing can be a game changer in wound management. Let's dive in to learn more. What exactly is inodine dressing, you may ask? Well, inodine dressing is a type of wound dressing that plays a crucial role in preventing infection. It's a non-adherent dressing soaked in a solution of povidone iodine, a powerful antiseptic. This solution is released slowly into the wound, killing bacteria and reducing the risk of infection dramatically. Inodine dressing is versatile. It's suitable for a variety of wounds, from minor burns and ulcers to post-operative wounds. It's the go-to for many healthcare professionals due to its adaptability and effectiveness. But remember, like with any medical product, it's essential to use it correctly to reap its benefits fully. Inodine dressing is not just a simple piece of gauze, it's a tool in the fight against wound infections, helping wounds heal faster and more effectively. Now that we know what inodine dressing is, it's time to explore how to use it effectively. Applying inodine dressing requires a certain level of precision and understanding. Let's delve into the steps to ensure you're applying the dressing correctly. First off, remember that cleanliness is paramount. You must clean the wound appropriately before application. This can be done using saline solution or a wound cleanser to remove any debris or bacteria. Next comes the application. The dressing should be positioned so that it covers the entire wound area. If the wound is larger than the dressing, multiple dressings can be overlapped to ensure full coverage. Once the dressing is in place, it should be secured. This can be done with a secondary dressing or bandage, depending on the wound's location and size. Now, let's talk about frequency. The dressing should be changed when it becomes visibly soiled or discolored. On average, this tends to be every two to three days, but can be more frequent based on the wound's condition. Inodine also has a color change indicator. When the dressing goes white, this means it is time for a dressing change. So, what are the key points to remember about inodine dressing? Let's take a moment to revisit the highlights of our discussion. In the realm of wound care, inodine dressing stands as a vital tool. It's a type of dressing that incorporates iodine, a known antiseptic, into its fabric to help prevent infections. The application of inodine dressing is a straightforward process, but it's crucial to follow the step-by-step -step guide we've outlined to ensure the best results. But remember, every tool has its precautions and contraindications. For inodine dressing, it's key to avoid usage if the patient has a known hypersensitivity to iodine or is pregnant or nursing. Also, keep in mind that the frequency of dressing change depends on the condition of the wound. With this knowledge, you can ensure effective wound care using inodine dressing. Stay informed, stay healthy.